Hi, this is David McCann for WebTNG. In this video, we're taking a look at creating custom post types using Crocoblock's Jet Engine. Crocoblock used to be Elementor only, and that meant that custom post types and custom fields created using Jet Engine could only be used with Elementor. But now Crocoblock themselves have added support for Gutenberg, and also some third party page builders and Gutenberg block plugins have added support for Jet Engine. And that means that Crocoblock Jet Engine is no longer Elementor only. Now there are two parts to custom post types. First, there's the creation of the custom post types, custom taxonomies, and custom fields. And second, there's the display of this data on the front end of the website. In this video, we're only looking at the first part, the creation of these dynamic data features, and not at the various ways to display them. We'll look at some of the display options in other videos. If you like the video, please subscribe. It helps to spread the word about the channel. I have here a testing site with a free Cadence theme and some demo data. Let's go take a look at the plugins that I have installed. If we look at the plugins, I have Jet Engine activated. I have Jet Smart Filters, Jet Style Manager, and Jet Theme Core installed, but we aren't going to be using them in this video. When you activate Jet Engine, you get a menu item in the admin here, and you'll see there are a number of submenus. This first dashboard page shows you a number of modules or extras that you can enable and use with Jet Engine. There's support for a grid gallery, for a slider, for a QR code widget, for a calendar, for a profile builder, for map listings, for dynamic visibility, for custom content types, for data stores, for full width block editor, for dynamic tables, charts, for a post expiration period, Skins, this is for import and export of post types. You can create a short code to output specific fields from custom post types. And you can create a glossary, which is a custom list of terms, maybe something like US states or Canadian provinces. Lists that you want to reuse in multiple places on the site. So there are a lot of little extras here. And that's something to keep in mind when you're comparing Jet Engine with other tools for creating custom post types and custom fields. Listings, these are your lists of posts or custom post types or archives of different types. They might be something like related posts or recent posts. Anywhere where you use a query and output multiple records. Post types, this is where we create our custom post types. Now, WordPress comes with several post types built in. There are posts and pages. Those are built-in post types. But media is a post type. And for that matter, so are menus. So what is a post type? Post type is a collection of fields, which together makes up a discrete set of content, like a post or a page. Metaboxes are collections of custom fields. As you can see, when we create our custom post type with Jet Engine, there's the option to add our custom fields right here on this screen, but there's also the option to create a box and put your custom fields in it. And you would do that when you want to use the same fields in more than one place with more than one post type. Taxonomies. Those are like categories and tags, but they're custom taxonomies that you can create for use with your custom post types. Relations are an advanced feature of custom post types, and that's where you want to relate one or more custom post type together. Option pages, those are pages inside the WordPress admin, and query builder. And this is where instead of being stuck with the default WordPress query, for say your archive or listing, you can create your own with lots of conditions and customizations. These are the menus of Jet Engine. There's one more feature that comes with Jet Engine. Let's go take a look at a page real quick. If we look at the list of blocks, 
I just wanted to point out that Jet Engine comes with some blocks for displaying dynamic data. There's a block for fields, for images, for repeater, for post meta, for links, for taxonomy terms, and a listing grid block for displaying your data in a grid. So these are powerful Gutenberg blocks that also come with Jet Engine. We're not going to be looking at them any further in this video. What we're going to be doing is creating a custom post type. And there's one that I use often in my tutorials, and that is a post type called book. And you can see when I tab down to the slug, Jet Engine automatically fills that in. Now, this is the label, which is going to show here. And you can put special characters in there, like an apostrophe S. And this is the slug that shows in the URL. And this needs to be unique. And you'll see there are instructions here that it should only contain letters, numbers, and a dash or an underscore. Okay, so don't put special fields there. This toggle here turns on the option to edit the post type when you're in the post edit page this toggle to hide the names of the fields on the post edit screen okay then these are labels you'll see there's a long list of them okay and these are the labels that appear on the post creation and edit screens you can pretty much leave them alone but occasionally you might want to tweak some to customize the wording for example here it says it's going to say add new item so we could change this to say add new book instead of add new item if we wanted to i usually leave the labels at the default then there are advanced settings and if you've used a tool like custom post type ui or tool set or metabox or pods these advanced settings are pretty much the same as in all of those tools. Okay, is it public? Do you want to hide it from search results? Is it queryable from the front end of the site? Do you want to show it in the WordPress admin UI so it'll create default creation and edit screens? Do you want to have an admin menu item? Do you want to show in the nav menus for the front of the site? show in the rest api this is generally good to leave on if you're going to be using gutenberg because that's the way that gutenberg gets the field information this is kind of arcane you want to just leave this on for the query now the rewrite and rewrite slug in the url it's going to use this slug book. If you wanted to change that to something else like manuscripts or something, then you could work here and change that. And so we're going to use the post capability type. So you have the regular role permissions, just like for posts, admin, editor, author, subscriber. So this is if you want to have an archive list of the records for the custom post type whether it's hierarchical, you know, pages can have a hierarchy where you can have sub pages. The menu position, this is where it shows up here. So I think that 30 is gonna set it somewhere around here. And then we can pick an icon. So let's look for book. Okay, and then supports. These are the fields that our custom post type will have. So comments, if we want comments, I usually like to have revisions. In case I need to go back. Trackbacks aren't that important. Author is if, if you want to have the option to change the author. You'll have an author box or you have multiple authors. Excerpt if you want to have a custom excerpt. Page attributes. This would be if you set it to be hierarchical. Then you might want to have the page attributes showing so that you could set the order. Thumbnail. These are WordPress custom fields, so we're going to be using the Jet Engine custom fields. And then post formats. Those are things like is it a chat? Is it a quote? You know, special post formats, which we also don't need. Okay, so those are our advanced settings. Now we have the option for meta fields. Custom fields are often called meta fields, or sometimes they're called post meta and crocoblock calls them meta fields 
These are our custom fields. So I'm going to add a couple here. We'll start with one and we'll say author's photo. Okay, and remember here we don't want special characters, so I'm going to remove the apostrophe in the apostrophe S and just do author's photo. And then whether we want it to be field, a custom field, but you can also make it a container like a tab or accordion, or you can make it an endpoint for REST API, which is more for programmers or use with other special tools. So we want it to be a field. And then Jet Engine has a number of field types here. Text, date, time, date, time. Text area, which is multiple lines. WYSIWYG, that is a rich text box. Witcher, a checkbox. An icon picker. Media, gallery, radio, repeater. Select, you know, drop down, number, color picker posts so we can actually have a field that brings in some other posts or HTML. For us this is going to be media and we can have the ID of the media item, the URL or an array with ID and URL but I think we want the URL and then there's a description and then how wide is the field going to be across the page. Let's say 50%. This is to show in the REST API. This is a little different than the REST API setting above. And so I don't think we're going to need this here. And then you can set up conditional logic rules as well for when to show this. Okay, let's add another field. And we'll call this one author's website. And again, I'm going to take out the apostrophe. And this is a field. Now, many custom field plugins have a dedicated field for URLs. Jet Engine does not. You just use the text field. And we'll set this to also be 50%. So these two custom fields will show up side by side. We don't need to limit the number of characters or have a default value. I won't set it as required. If we enable this, it would show in the quick edit dialog. Show in the REST API and conditional logic will leave those. So those are our two fields that we're going to use. Admin columns. If you wanted to show the field in the admin columns. In admin filters, this is where you know you have the list of records and sometimes you can filter on the field name and that's where you would add this. Okay, so I'm going to click on add post type. So we have our custom post type called book. Now let's go and add a custom taxonomy. And this is very much the same type of process. I'm going to call it genre. Okay, and so we get the slug. And now we can associate this with our custom post type book. Then this is where you, you can add a link to edit the taxonomy from within the edit page. And here you can hide the field names when you're on the term edit page. Here we have the labels, very much like before. And I just go with the defaults. And we have advanced settings. Is it public? Is it publicly queryable? Show in the admin UI, show in the admin menu. That means it shows like categories and tags. Show in the REST API, we want to use that for Gutenberg. If you want a custom query variable, custom rewrite slug, if you want custom capability types, if it's hierarchical, and your description. Okay, and you can add custom fields to your taxonomies if you want to, and that can be a powerful thing. It's kind of advanced and not used that often, but it's useful if you need it. Okay, so now I'm going to add the taxonomy. All right, and now we have our book and we have our custom taxonomy genres. If we go look in the WordPress post editor, see here are typical fields for title, for content, for our featured image, but we also have our custom taxonomy and our two custom fields, the author's photo and the author's website. Let's fill in the values here for one of the records. OK, 
Okay, so this will be a book named The Sea Queen. And I'm just going to put some dummy text in for the post content. And then for the genre, we'll call it historical fiction. And then we'll go find the featured image. And it's this one. And then we'll choose the author's photo, which is this one. And then we'll add a link to the author's website. Okay, so now I'm going to publish that. And let's go and view the post on the front end. So here's the default display for the cadence theme. You can see that not only the featured image and the taxonomy, the genre, don't show, but neither do the custom fields. And that's the second stage, creating the templates to show the custom post type on the front end. So we'll do that in the next video. So that's the walkthrough of creating a custom post type using Jet Engine. Now for some observations and discussion. One observation is that the naming, labels, and options available when creating a custom post type are largely the same, whether you're using Jet Engine or Custom Post Type UI, Toolset, Pods, or Metabox. That's basically because they're all presenting you with forms corresponding to the core WordPress options. Still, there are ways that they're different. They may offer more field type options, or they may, as in the case of Jet Engine, offer additional extras that leverage the core features and bring additional value. The Jet Engine feature modules and Advanced Query Builder are examples of this. Another way these plugins are different is the extent of support for creating front end templates for displaying the custom post types and custom fields. On this front, Crocobock options have been expanding. In terms of creating templates with Elementor, you can now use Jet Engine custom fields with Crocoblock and with dynamic content for Elementor. Moving on to Gutenberg, Crocoblock has added Gutenberg support so you can now create templates using Jet Theme Core, front end filters using Jet Smart filters, and Jet Engine itself adds blocks for working with dynamic data in the Gutenberg editor. On the Gutenberg front, Stackable Pro now also supports Jet Engine custom fields. Going beyond Elementor and Gutenberg, the Bricks Builder also supports Jet Engine custom post types, custom taxonomies, and custom fields. So Jet Engine used to be Elementor only, but now it has wider support. So that's my walkthrough of creating custom post types with Jet Engine. There's a text summary on the WebTNG website along with other walkthroughs, reviews, and resources. I hope you found this look at Jet Engine helpful. Thank you for watching.